Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the ABIT BH7 motherboard. What is included in this package is an IO shield plate, an ATA133 cable, a floppy cable, a serial ATA cable, a manual, some drivers, and the motherboard. This motherboard is based upon the Intel 845PE chipset. Let me now just go through and detail some of the key aspects about this motherboard. Right here is where the CPU gets installed and you can install three banks of DDR memory right here up to two gigabytes. Here is the floppy controller, the two IDE controllers. You have five PCI slots and one AGP slot. This goes up to a maximum of four times AGP. There's two power connections, one right here and one right here. There's also four fan headers, two right here, one right here, and one right here. The PS2 ports for the keyboard and the mouse are right here, the COM ports right here, a parallel port. You also have six channel audio on this motherboard as well as an optic in and an optic out. Here are the connections for the line in, the mic, the left channel, the right channel, the center and the sub. You have two USB 1 ports right here, two USB 2 ports and the LAN port. Let's now have a look at some of the key features within this BIOS. First of all, look at the soft menu 3 setup. Within here is where you can go to over clock your CPU. You've got options in here to adjust the front side bus as well as the PCI bus, the multiplier, the DRAM ratio and the voltages for the CPU, the memory and the video card. The front side bus goes all the way up to 250 megahertz and also right here you can adjust the PCI bus and that's good to do if you have a high front side bus because that means your system is going to be much more stable with these options. Right here you have a multiplier factor which goes all the way up to 32 and also you have DRAM ratio options low and high. Now if you select low you get this screen right here. One to one means that the memory is going to be exactly the same as your front side bus. So if your front side bus is 150 that means your memory is going to be 150. If you select 3 colon 4 that means you're going to multiply 1.33 times 150 and that's going to give you 200 megahertz DDR for the memory. Now if you select the high option you get this screen one to one again it's the same and as well you get an option here for colon 5. That means 1.25 times for example a front side bus of 150 will give you a memory score of 188 megahertz DDR. And also here you have at the bottom different voltage options. For the CPU you can go a plus 30 percent of the original default voltage on the CPU and the memory voltage can go all the way up to 3.05 and finally the video can go all the way up to 1.6 volts. Within the advanced chipset features is where you can go to adjust the memory timings, enable or disable the system BIOS cacheable, the video BIOS cacheable, adjust the AGP aperture size and the AGP data transfer rates. Now let's go back here to the top you'll see that right now I have the timing at by SPD. That's an automatic setting. If, for example, you want to adjust the memory, select manual, and then you can just manually adjust the timings, and that's going to give you maximum performance out of the memory. Last but not least is the PC health status. Now this is a pretty boring part of the BIOS, but it's a very important part of the BIOS because it gives you alarms. For instance, when the CPU fan was to fail, it can shut down your system if the CPU fan was to fail. You can also adjust a CPU shutdown temperature as well as a CPU warning temperature. And further down here, you'll notice that you can view the CPU temperature, the system temperature, the fan speeds, and all of the different voltages. The PC Mark 2002 results are the CPU score is 8392, the memory score is 7708, and the hard drive score is 1434. The Sci Software Sandra CPU result is 11050. The Sci Software Sandra multimedia result is 16401. And the Sci Software Sandra memory result is 3264. The 3D Mark 03 result is 5042. These are the following settings for the Comanche 4 demo, a screen resolution of 1280 by 1024, the bit depth 
is 32. Texture compression is checked. I've disabled the V-Sync and hardware shaders are checked. And the result is 60.36 frames per second. In the XS mark I'm using all the default settings except for a screen resolution of 1280 by 1024 at 32 bit. And the result is 8629. In the Quake 3 Arena demo these are the following settings. The video mode of 1280 by 1024. The color depth is 32 bit. Geometric detail is at high, texture detail is at max, texture quality is 32-bit, and texture filter is trilinear. And the result is 231.1 frames per second. And finally, the Unreal Tournament 2003 benchmark results. The flyby is 169, and the bot match is 80. All done at a screen resolution of 1280 by 960. This motherboard is stable, it performs very well, and is highly overclockable. Overall this product is kick-ass. Again my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop into my website at www.3dgamenutman.com and while you're there you can go into the forums and register and remember registration is completely free. Until the next time, take care.